Hey, what's going on guys? Dylan here. Thank you for tuning in to another video. Today, we are going to be getting the Hustler all cleaned up, ready to go for the season. As you guys know, we are crunching at the bit on getting started, and we're actually going to be getting started with our weekly cuts starting this coming Monday. Now, like I said, today's video, we're going to be talking about getting this uh, getting this mower right here all cleaned up. Now, I think I have found probably the best, the best cleaner for your equipment. Man, I'm looking for something that can really just cut through the dirt, the grime, the grease. Guys, I think I found it right here. So guys, stick around, stay tuned, enjoy this video. Let's get into it. So just to give a little background, uh, my name is Dylan. I own a company, Solo Cuts Landscaping. If you are new to the channel, guys, be sure to smash that subscribe button and hit that bell so that way you get a notification every time I drop a video. So I bring this camera along, just showing my journey, showing what we have going on behind the scenes. We do videos just like this to find out what is the best product for what we need. And as you guys know, no one wants to have a dirty mower. You know, if you own a business, you want to make sure your equipment's clean. But even if you're at home, you want to make sure that that mower that you spend all that money on stays nice, stays clean. So that's what we're going to be doing here. So as you can see, this is pretty dirty. And I'll be honest, I've even tried pressure washing this stuff off. And it just doesn't want to come off with just regular soap and water and pressure wash. This is the Purple Power uh, Concentrated Industrial Strength Cleaner and Degreaser. I'll be honest, they sent this out to me to test out and see how well it works. And I was like, I'll tell you what, we're going to put it on the channel and uh, see if it's worth the hype, see if it's worth everything that they say. And um, I'm going to show you guys right here how well this works out. So enough talking. Uh, don't want to bore you guys here with this. Let's get straight to it. Let's see how this works. We're just going to go ahead and coat this pretty good. And we're going to let that sit for a minute. Just to give you a little info here. So it's powerful cleaner and degreaser, non-abrasive, non-flammable, biodegradable, and phosphate free. Um, so they're claiming this stuff is supposed to be pretty strong, industrial strength. So we're going to see how well this works out. Um, like I said, we're just going to we're gonna let that uh, sit on there for a minute. Um, really not that long. Show you what we have going on here. You can see already it's drippings. Um, is already eaten through that. All I have is just this regular brush here and then just our shop cloth. Um, nothing crazy, nothing much to it. This side, we will use the brush and then the rag to wipe it off and see how it goes. Then on this side, um, we will just test out with a straight rag and see how it does. As you can see, that is coming off quite easily. Now I'm not giving it a bunch. Oh, missed it a little bit there on the inside. I'm really not giving this any effort at all, considering I'm laying down um, and scrubbing here. All right, let's go ahead and wipe her down. Look at that. And I'm telling you, I have power washed this, tried to power wash it off, soap and water, and it just does not want to come off. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? I mean, that is. You guys see that on the camera? <laughs> Look at the difference. Absolutely crazy. So now we're just gonna try it with a cloth. So no scrubbing of uh, the brush, just the cloth. 
and we'll see how well it comes off as well. I will say I am having to put more pressure on uh, on it to get that clean. So we'll go ahead and, and another thing could have been though too is it got to sit a little bit um, to where it got to dry maybe. But we'll go ahead and let that soak. Here we'll go ahead and hit it with a brush. Like I said, man, you guys can just see the stuff, that dirt and grime just melting right off of it. So I would recommend definitely using a little brush like this. Let's push it away. Definitely recommend using a brush like this to get through it. It definitely saves some time and effort. Look at that. Absolutely crazy. Now look at that. Alright guys, so there you have it. That is the verdict. They're on the purple power. I gotta say, I'm actually pretty impressed. Um, for the fact of how little effort it took to get through that. And that paint basically came out brand stinking new. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be ordering some more of this myself. Like I said, the kind folks at Purple Power did send this out to me um, to test out, but that is it. They wanted to know how it works, my thoughts and opinions on it, and um, yeah, so there's no there's no paid stuff going behind the scenes, none of that. Just sent it out for me to test. And I told him, I said, hey, you know, if it, if it doesn't work, if it's not up to the hype that you're doing it, then hey, it's gonna be shown that it's not as, uh, you know, as good as what you're saying. But for me, that came out stinking awesome. And I know they do have other products as well on their site, so I will tag their website down in the description below. So that way you can check out all they have and uh, maybe you can get some of this yourself. So guys, thank you very much for tuning this video. Like I said, if you are new to the channel, be sure to smash the subscribe button and hit that bell so you get a notification every time I drop a video. Guys, as always, remember, do what you love. Love what you do, but never, no, never stop. Guys, we'll see you in the next one. Bye.